The Mobile User Objective System, or MUOS Network, provides cellular-like communications capability, bringing reliable access to support warfighters who require greater mobility, simultaneous voice and data, and improved operational availability. The MUOS constellation consists of four geosynchronous satellites with one on-orbit spare. These four satellites work in concert with four ground stations or radio access facilities to provide global coverage, even in the most challenging environments. Each ground station serves two on-orbit satellites, and each satellite is in contact with two ground stations, increasing redundancies in the event communications are obstructed or jammed. With this network, Signals can be sent anywhere across the globe instantaneously, with communications successfully tested as far north as the Arctic Circle, bringing SATCOM access to previously unreached areas. Super Typhoon Gianna intensifies to a Category 5 storm with wind speeds up to 290 kilometers per hour. The typhoon is projected to make landfall in the northern Mariana Islands. Typhoon warnings are in effect for Saipan, Tinian, and Guam. Pacific 8, this is LSV-8. We're leaving to transport supplies to our base in South Korea. Over. Roger. A typhoon is brewing in the Pacific. Keep an eye on it and stay out of danger. Over. Roger Wilco. LSV-8, out. Legacy SATCOM has narrow coverage and restricted access. With limited capacity, SATCOM access is reserved for special operations and higher echelons and is rarely available to soldiers on the front lines. Even if SATCOM is available, authorization is given to a particular satellite, and once a radio is beyond the satellite footprint, radio contact is not possible. If orders change during a mission, an officer must contact the port of arrival via landline, and then wait until the ship is within line of sight to contact the vessel. However, MUOS extends coverage far beyond legacy SATCOM capability. With the addition of ground stations linked by fiber cabling, MUOS offers global communication and system-wide authorization that is not limited to a specific satellite. Using interconnected ground stations located in Australia, Hawaii, Virginia, and Italy, access is given to the entire system enabling personnel to transmit and receive from anywhere on the globe. Victor-1 and LSV-8, this is Pacific-8. Typhoon Gianna is devastating Saipan, and we need to adjust course. LSV-8, continue to South Korea and unload the cargo. From there, you'll reroute to the USS Minnow to receive relief supplies. Over. Roger, Wilco. As soon as we unload, we'll link up with the USS Minnow. Over. Roger. We'll store the equipment for disposition and begin collecting additional relief supplies to send with the next wave of support. Over. Copy all. Pacific 8 out. With the ability to support 10 times as many users simultaneously, MUOS offers global SATCOM to the lower echelons. Now an officer can use any DISN-capable device, leverage a MUOS radio, and transmit to their team across the globe with a single call. MUOS's extended range offers soldiers greater mobility. It removes the need to stop and position antennas or hold terrain to bring in cable links, reducing operational exposure while still providing access to beyond line-of-sight personnel. MUOS can even use the Defense Information Switching Network to connect calls over the waveform, meaning soldiers in the field can reach back to their garrison without the need for a radio on the receiving end. General Pritchett, this is Colonel Greaves of LSV-8 from Alpha Brigade, with a sit rep to follow. Go ahead, Mike. What's the latest? Sir, the link-up with the USS Minnow is complete. All relief supplies are on board and we're headed to Saipan. This concludes my sit rep, pending any questions. Over. Acknowledged, Mike. Good report. No questions. Pacific 8, out. Typhoon Gianna devastated Saipan, knocking out power, water, and infrastructure. U.S. Armed Forces promise humanitarian aid and relief support, and the President has offered emergency funding and immediate assistance. Tropic Thunder 4, this is LSV-8. We're arriving in Lao Lao Bay and ready to coordinate relief supplies. Over. Roger, LSV-8. The Chinook is headed your way. See you in a few. Over. 
In addition to increased capacity and accessibility, MUOS offers incredible on-the-move benefits for cross-banding local networks. While terrestrial networks are reliable for line-of-sight communications, they have their limitations and may be cut off due to heavy vegetation or rough terrain. On the battlefield, our warfighters must have the ability to operate beyond line of sight without losing contact with command, and legacy equipment can only achieve this with the aid of retransmission posts. However, with MUOS crossbanding, soldiers can patch terrestrial networks more effectively. For example, two soldiers can bridge SyncGARS networks separated by vast distances giving forces the capability to operate as one cohesive network. Two-channel radios with MUOS capabilities bring the worldwide range of MUOS to soldiers with legacy radios, without the need for extra manpower or equipment. All relief stations, this is Tropic Thunder 4. Supplies have arrived in port and we're coordinating delivery to your location. Rescue Team 1, we have vehicles headed your way for extraction. Over. Roger, we just found two more in the rubble, and they'll need evac soon. Medevac 1, they'll be headed to you within the hour. Over. Roger, we're getting low on triage supplies, but we still have beds available. Over. Roger, Medevac 1. We just received a new supply of antibiotics, sutures, and tourniquets. We'll send a team to restock and provide relief right away. Over. Copy all and standing by. Over. Tropic Thunder 4, I'm sending images of the damage to you via chat. Over. Roger, I'll include that data in my sit rep back to the ship. Tropic Thunder 4 out. Whether warfighters need to reach higher echelons in the midst of battle, or orders are coming straight from the Pentagon in a moment of crisis, MUOS allows global communication, minimal latency, crystal clear voice, and data capabilities that far exceed legacy communication systems. In tense situations, our soldiers rely on immediate access to reliable communications. MUOS brings the reality of 24-7 accessibility straight into the hands of the warfighters. With 10 times the capacity and the ability to send voice and data simultaneously, MUOS reduces the time, equipment, and manpower needed to deliver urgent information and provides access to the soldiers who need it most.